Hey there everyone, this is Royella with Kitty Bit, and I know it's been a while since I covered any Final Fantasy XIV anything, especially fishing, but I am back, and up until Endwalkers, I am going to be doing a new fishing series. This is going to be helping out our new adventurers that have been joining Final Fantasy XIV lately. So if you are a veteran for fishing, or follow my other videos, or are already in late game content, just going to let you right know right now. These videos are going to be covering the older content that is aimed at newer players who are just getting into fishing or people who are trying to get into fishing and getting caught it up before end walk. So if you're already well into fishing, then you can go ahead and skip on these videos for a while and you can look forward to later game content from me closer to end walk. So with that aside, we are going to start covering the lower end fishing quests. And these are going to be the mainline fishing quests, the first of which is going to be every fish has a silver lining. This one is a level 15 fishing quest. Uh, you get this quest by talking to Sisipu in the, the Fisherman's Guild in Limsa. Once you have your quest, you are going to either you you can either use the universal lure for this if you want, but if you want to make it a little bit quicker, you can actually head right on over to Hawker's Alley. Once you're in Hawker's Alley, if you just go over to the Field Craft Supplier, Sunny Hill or whatever his name, Sign Hill, we are going to want to grab some rat tails. So, like I said, you can either use, if you want, you can use uh, the Universal Lure. The thing is with the Universal Lure is it's going to pull in a lot of other fish that are not the fish that we are after, which are the Navigator's Daggers. So we want to make sure that we have the best chance for those fish. So let's go ahead and grab some of these. You can go ahead and use the universal if you want. I just tend to like the, I like to go with the more specific bait. That way I get, I have a, a smaller pool of fish. Once you have that, we are going to Western Lenosha. You can go to Swift Perch or Aleport, honestly. Our destination is nestled right between them. So as soon as you get here, if you take a look at the map, I'm at Aleport. There's Swift Perch right there. We are headed for the Brewer's Beacon, which is straight between. If you can fly, it's just a matter of hopping straight over the wall. If not, you just simply go right along the trail and look for this lighthouse. I'm going to take just a real quick fly. So you can pretty much fish anywhere in this area. I I like to just kind of not be really visible to other people, so... I'm just going to go ahead and hop back here behind. We're going to check our rat tail. For this one, all you really have to do is cast. There's no special, no special uh, abilities or skills. So just simple hooking will do. Now it says online your best chances at getting these fish are going to be during clear skies, fair skies. There's one right there. With your worst chances being during rain. During rain you've got like a 2% chance. Gales, 3% chance. Fog, you've got a 7% chance. Wind, an 8% chance. Clouds, 13%. Fair skies and clear skies, however, you have a 25% chance and a 38% chance of getting your fish. So, nice and quick. This one shouldn't take you long at all. Once you've got all the fish that you need, you can simply head on back to Sisipu, turn in your fish, and claim your rewards and move on to the next set of fishing quests, which we will be covering again here or covering for the first time here in the next couple days. Guys, 
For those of you who are new to Final Fantasy XIV, I welcome you. I hope all of you are enjoying the game so far. For those of you veterans who have watched my videos in the past, I appreciate you. And I hope you look forward to all the videos coming out for all of you. And outside of that, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What I ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options near you. If you can't bring home an animal due to, uh, you know, varying means, uh, allergies, whatnot, then there are other ways you can help out those animals in need, such as checking with your local shelters, maybe doing some volunteer work, um, donating uh, blankets, clothing, that kind of stuff, food. Uh, any way you can help, that would be great. So guys, there are plenty of animals out there who could use that love. And speaking of love, I love you. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one, fishers. Take it easy. Have a good one.